Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's talk about a tier list today, we are going to rank, uh, or rank, sorry, <laughs> um, every rank 8 vehicle, okay guys, every single one of them, in top dogs, great, not great, not terrible, good at one thing and really bad, the normal thing that we always do, so let's just hop right into it because... Um, this video will be kind of long, okay? So, F16 AJ, um, you know, basically a block 10 that can take BVRs. I think it is... Um, I must say, without A9Ms, without any very good BVR missile, although the Sparrow is good, but he only has two, without a, an amazing Raider, but being very, very good at dogfights, I would put it at great. It's kind of like almost a top dog, but we are going to add so many top dogs over here that I think the AJ kind of steps down a little bit, okay? Then we have the F F-15A Boss. Of course, one of the best aircraft that we have in the game right now, uh, for sure. Amazing Raider, amazing missiles, Sparrows, they could be a little bit better, but still, they're very, very good aircraft um, and a very good uh, missile, um, you know, equipment. Harrier Gear 7, I would say, guys, it's it's only good at one thing, maybe, I don't know, it's complicated. Because it will lose for most 4th generation aircraft in the dogfights, unless you really know how to use the, um, the, the thrust vectoring. I mean, it might be not great, not terrible, but I don't know, it, it's really good at CAS, that's the thing, it's really, really good at CAS. It can defend itself, and it's a very good aircraft, but it lacks that line of thinking that it doesn't have any radar, it doesn't have any BVRs, the missiles are good, but it only have four of them, so I don't know, it's limited, I think, so yeah, only good at one thing. The Gripen, of course the Gripen, one of the best aircraft in the game as well, um, it's more complete than the Boss, because it can actually do proper air-to-ground, uh, but in the air-to-air, -air, it depends, so... I don't know, I have a feeling that, for my personal opinion, I would much rather have the boss in my lineup than a Gripen in an air battle. Uh, but for a ground battle, the Gripen, of course. So, I don't know, it's kind of like, for the majority of the players, and especially because afterwards we are going to receive RB99s for it, it's probably a little bit better than F15 for the majority of the players. I personally, I would add it behind it, just because I, I love the F15 more than the Gripen. Um, just the way that it plays and everything like that, heavy heater fighters, you know, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. MiG-29-913, it is an amazing aircraft, um, it's great, you know, it really, really is good. Of course, it has R-27ERs, amazing aircraft. The only problem is that the fly model, I mean, it can be beaten by a lot of aircraft, and it only has R-60M, so for the first generation aircraft, it's one of one that it's lacking a little bit behind. I don't... I wouldn't be surprised if we see something like this receiving the R-73 in the future when it becomes kind of worse than the others. It's in the performance and everything like that, it's amazing. It just lacks a little bit on the missiles, IR missiles. And in the flight performance, I mean, in a 1v1 dogfight against an AJ, for example, it will lose very heavily, so, yeah. Then we have the F-16A Block 15. Then we have another thing over here, I mean, it would be kind of a draw between these two, I think. I would put it... I, I, I'm gonna put the MiG-29 there, because it has the um, R-27s, which can be an amazing missile. Uh, but also, I mean, the BVR is okay, the missiles are okay, but nothing too crazy in the dogfight, it's amazing. It's a great aircraft, but nothing too crazy, you know, for the top tiers that we have right now. AV-8B+, of course, I gotta put it right here, I would add it uh, as being a little bit better than the GR-7, just because he has the uh, F-18's radar, okay, so in the future, it will receive the Emo-20, probably. Uh, then we have the MiG-29G, for sure, one of the top dogs, I would say, I mean, in a 1v1, it will win in a, against a Gripen in BVR, basically, everything else, he probably will lose, but the r 73 is kind of carry the aircraft, but I think the Gripen is just easier to use, the F-15s, these aircraft are easier to use than the MiG-29. So for the majority of the players, I would add it as a top dog, but behind that. 
uh, MiG-29 SMT, then it comes down to personal preference as well. The only reason that I consider these aircraft worse than these ones is because of the fly model. It doesn't pull the AOA that in real life it could, so it is lacking a little bit on the turning capability. Everything else it's amazing about these two aircraft, but because of that, I think they are a little bit worse. And between the two of them, it depends on personal preference. Do you much rather have a worse fly performance, but more flares and more fuel or you much rather have and a better raider a much better raider or you much have a be, like you prefer to have a better fly performance with a worse worse raider and less flare so it depends on the situation i would take the smt over the g but it depends on the, the type of player that you are flying f14a i would say that right now it's not great not terrible i mean it's problematic because it doesn't have aim 9 l's or anything like that so, I mean, you can still do well because you have the Sparrows, you have a very good Raider, and the flight performance is pretty good, but it's, it's lacking a little bit, I gotta say, it's lacking a little bit. J8F, I would say that, I mean, it's a, not great, not terrible as well. It can be very good, but it doesn't have BVR right now, the Raider is lacking uh, on the performance side of things. It has the Python 3 missile, but it's okay, I mean, it has a helmet mounted sight. It's alright, I don't think it's anything too incredible. F-15J guys, this I think it's better than the boss, I prefer, even though yes, it is much like the MiG-29s over here, a personal preference thing, okay guys, the F-15J in my opinion have a better missile in general because it has a better IRCCM, the M3, everything else is pretty much the same but the J is a little bit heavier, so it depends on personal preference, you have a lighter F-15 or a heavier one with a different type of missile with IRCCM and then a very fast good dogfight missile but with no IRCCM so it depends on the situation I much rather have the J than the A but they are very similar of course to each other and then we have the J11 and, and I gotta be honest guys I much rather have the J11 in general I think it's a better aircraft and I gotta be honest, even in the, depending on the situations, any of these aircraft can beat any of these aircraft, okay? The differences between them are not that big, okay? But the J-11 has 10 missiles. Of course, let me just grab the, uh, where is the SU-27 already over here. I'm gonna add it uh, before it because it is lighter, but still doesn't mean much. Uh, but they have very good raiders. 10 missiles being 6 of them can be R-27Es and 4 R-73s helmet mounted sight. Fairly good amount of flares compared to the MiG-29. So yeah, for me it's the top dog of the game, the best aircraft in the game. It can beat anything in a BVR engagement, literally anything. It's better than everything, single aircraft because of the R-27ER and the amount of R-27s you can take uh, together with the Raider. And in a dogfight it's still better than some of the other aircraft or at least on par with some of these other aircraft right so it's it's i mean it's perfect it doesn't have air to ground but uh, or guided air to ground i must say but i mean you can always have other options in their respective tech trees the jh7 is better for that and the smt or mig 27s or su 27 uh, fives are better for the uh, soviet tech tree so yeah these are the two best aircraft in the game in my opinion Yak 41, I think, yeah, it's, 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 it's a top dog, I guess, I mean, I'm gonna put it right here because it doesn't have R73s, once you get R73s, it will probably be one of the top dogs, but the performance is amazing, it can dogfight well and beat m a lot of aircraft in a dogfight, but you don't have R73s and you're stuck with the R60, 4 pylons or the R27, so it's kind of limited on that sense, right? It's gr and a great aircraft and can beat the AJ, I much rather have the Yak-41, although some people would prefer the AJ, but still it is there. Then we have the Mirage 2005F, and I gotta say, I would say that it's a great aircraft as well, uh, the only problem is that I have that I have with it is that uh, it doesn't have a lot of missiles and in a missile driven game which it is a top tier match of War Thunder this can be a problem okay uh, it's a great aircraft can do a lot of damage but the lack of missiles maybe it's something that it's not really a top dog material maybe if they fix the magic 2 if there is anything to fix on it maybe it would be better 
F15A Eagle, well, here it depends on personal preference as well, has M9Ms just like the other ones. I would, I would just put it uh, behind the bus because the bus has the option of the Python 3 and the M9M, and the Eagle, the normal Eagle is just the M9M. Uh, so there is always this little option of the Python if you want. Everything else is the same as the bus, so, but it depends on the personal preference. I still have uh, much rather have the uh, AM3 than the AM9M, even if it's heavier. Um, so yeah, depends on personal preference. F16A Block 15, we already talked about this aircraft. Uh, of course, it's right here together. Uh, F4EJ Kai Phantom, I mean, it's complicated. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I don't think it's really bad, but it might be right now, I think, it's complicated, I I, I think this aircraft deserves the AM3, maybe, uh, that's the thing, um, we are talking about a top tier match, okay, a match that it is in 12.3 and not an 11.3 match, in the 11.3 range, this is an amazing aircraft, but or not, maybe not amazing, but great at least, right, but in the top tier range, it's kind of bad, I mean, it has A9Ls and it has Sparrows and it has an APG-66, but everything else is bad. I mean, the Raider is not the greatest thing ever to use the Sparrow, although, yeah, it's good, but not that great compared to other Raiders. The A9L, I mean, it lacks a little bit compared to other missiles. And then it doesn't have any performance whatsoever. You will be out-accelerated by other aircraft and out-turned by every single aircraft. So, yeah, I think it's really bad. I mean... I don't know, like these ones have M9Ms, but they are very good at air to ground. These is okay, but I don't know, like it's complicated, right? F14B, I mean, I don't know if it's a top dog anymore, guys. I mean, A9Ls, right? It doesn't have A9Ms yet, I don't think. Uh, unless I'm forgetting something really interesting, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, the Phoenix is alright, performance is great. Um, the Sparrows are okay, the Raider is pretty good, but it has its drawbacks as well. So, yeah, it misses the A9M and the flight performance, I mean, it's a heavy aircraft, a bigger aircraft, that lacks a little bit of some of the other performance boosts that these other aircraft have. So, I, I don't know, maybe if you are a really fanboy of the F-14, you can put it right here. Me, personally, I'd much rather have any of these aircraft than an F-14. Uh, let me go back here. Mirai 2000C, of course, it doesn't change much from the 5 uh, 2000C. You know, it's just the helmet mounted side and the flares, I think. So it's right up here together with the other one. Still a very good aircraft. Then we have the Mirage 4000. And guys, the 4000, oh, um, let me fix that. It is one of the best aircraft in here. I, I gotta say, I'm confused. I would need to play a, a little bit more. It's up here, guys. I don't know where exactly. Probably because of the flight performance, right, like right here, or maybe even better than the Gripen because it does have a lot more missiles and it has BVR. So it's it's there. It's up there. You know, together with an F-15, something like that. It's an amazing aircraft. It has an em enormous amount of power, great flight characteristics, great amount of missiles, and yeah, just a very very complete aircraft. And it can do even air to ground. So yeah, definitely along these lines over here. Uh, F-16A Block 20 MLU, I always find it a little bit better than the um, than the ADFs because of the better Raider, uh, but yeah, you could use the A9M that they used, uh, so yeah. Make 29 912A, I think, yeah, it depends on the personal preference, but it is right here together with the other one, a little bit lighter, a little bit more fuel, depends on what you want. Tornado IDS, Asta, I think it's a very good cast, guys. Uh, just compare every single tornado over here. I would say that the Marine Flieger for air battles is better because it has a lower BR. Uh, you can include in here any type of IDS, even the premium one. But uh, yeah, the Asta as well, it is a very, very good air-to-ground weaponry cast aircraft, right? It's amazing at that. It lacks on the air-to-air, -air, but I mean, it's not made to be doing that. So it's good at one thing. Uh, Block 10, of course, um, I mean, it's going to be right here, depends. You know, it's it's in, it's in the middle, it's in the mix. i much rather have the Phoenix, the Sparrows and everything like that than air to ground, but it depends on what you are using. For air to ground, the Block 10, obviously, it's better than the these <laughs> three, of course. Um, or maybe not better than this one, but still, uh, they are like there. But for air to air, I would say that this, these are better. 
because it has these perils, but these have more, uh, this one has more performance uh, on turning and everything like that. So it depends on personal preference again. F-16C Block 50, of course, one of the best aircraft in the game. Um, it lacks a little bit compared to the F-16A on the performance side of things, but it is uh, an amazing aircraft. Uh, A9Ms, Sparrows, I think they are better than the... I mean, I still prefer to fly the SMT because of the R-27, but the Block 50 is just an easier aircraft to use. For the majority of the players, it will be a better aircraft. I still think, though, the Gripen can be a better option, okay? Uh, then we have the F-16D block uh, f uh, 40, right, the Barak. I would put it like right here, probably. Uh, a little bit worse in flight performance and everything like that, so yeah. But they're along the same line, I'm thinking, over here. Uh, J-37D, I think the worst aircraft that you can have right now. Uh, the RB-74 lacks if you get into a, a top-tier match. Yes, it can do well, but if it gets the right BR. In top-tier, you will suffer, okay? Yes, in a certain specific way that you fly, because you've flown a lot of the vegan, yes, you can make it work. But for the majority of the players, he can lose in a dogfight, he can lose in a straight line speed, BVR is basically non-existent because of the sky flash, uh, the A9Ls, I mean, they are alright, but compared to the M's, R73s, AM3s, Magic 2s and stuff, it's a missile that lacks a little bit, the radar is kind of bad, so it's just an aircraft that lacks a lot uh, in top tier matches, okay? Mirage 2000 D, I would say that it's even better than these ones, but yeah, it's only good at one thing. I mean, it's not great, not terrible, I, I must say. It can do dogfights and can win against some aircraft, especially if the targets don't know what they're doing. But, of course, it lacks BVR and it is a very good air-to-ground aircraft, so uh, it's not great, not terrible, depending on what you want to do. Kurunas 2000, I would put it right here. Uh, I still much rather have a Sparrow than not having it and having other missiles like the Python. Uh, but the principle is the same. It's an aircraft that if it gets into a top tier, it will lack a lot. But of course, remember guys, these three aircraft, or all of these actually, they are lower BRs, okay? So if you are going to play them, uh, it's not really fair to even talk bad about them, right? Because they are going to get a lower BR. If they get a lower BR, they will do well. It's just that in top tier, of course, they will lack a little bit, right? And then we have the Gripen C, and I would put it right here, just above the A, just because it has a Maverick that it's a tiny little bit better with a zoom. But it doesn't change basically anything between the two, okay? And then the Tornado F3, which is, I guess, not, I mean... It's not really good, it's kind of bad in top tier, but in its BR I think it's okay, so it depends. You can get a lot of kills with it, just needs better missiles to be honest, and then it could be great, uh, especially if it maintains a lower BR. But basically this is it guys, these are the top dogs, if you get into a top tier match, uh, the top dogs are these ones in this order in my opinion, great aircraft are these ones, not great not terrible, aircraft that are okay, good at one thing, aircraft that are very good at for example, air to ground, but bad at everything else. Uh, really bad aircraft that if they get into a top tier match, they will suffer. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, everybody has an opinion. But guys, it's difficult to beat the SU-27S or being just... of being just complete. You know, it's the most complete aircraft in the game. The only thing that it lacks is a guided air to ground weaponry. That, I mean, you have other options to use in a ground battle in, so in the Soviet Union. So, it's basically the perfect aircraft right now. Amazing BVR, amazing everything, right? Um, and if we get an SM or something like that in the future, you will be a tough nut to crack. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one.